Hey guys, I am doing my July Fobonichi flip through. Um, it's the end of a new month. It's the end of a journal. It's the end of a lot of stuff and the beginning of a lot of stuff. Um, so I'll just do the, this should be quick, <laughs> hopefully, and um, I'll do a flip through. Um, first I wanted to show you that this was my February, March, and April with my pages being backed. Um, this is what May, June, and July look like. Same number of pages or days, if you will, just I did it a different way. These I backed with a full sheet of paper behind every single page. This one I just skipped a page. I like this better. This looks cool, but it's terrible to work in. <laughs> so um, I'm really, I, I like the new way to do it. Um, I have, each, every time I finish a journal, my friend Audrey has sent me some beautiful charms. I put a charm on it so that it sits on my bookcase and I can see the charms. And so um, this is the one that I'm putting on it this month. And I'll leave a link down to her Etsy shop if you want to pick some of these up. They're absolutely gorgeous. And um, I highly recommend her stuff. Um, it'll be in the description box. Okay, so let's get going here. I use the Moleskine Classic dotted uh, notebook, or journal book, I guess. And um, let's see, we left off at the end of last month, which should be in here. So this would be the last page of June. Let's see if I can keep this in frame here. Um, I'm not going to go, as as you know, I'm not going to go through all my life day pages and stuff like that and, and stuff. Um, if you want to see up close photos of any of the stuff that you see in my journal, just join the Fobonichi group. It's all on there. Uh, this is just a quick flip through to show how the pages went. Um, okay, so first day of July looks like this. Um, the, the pages really changed throughout the month. I really didn't have much of a plan on this month, and it so it's it's different. <laughs> um, but I was trying to do um, some ink with brush writing, and it's not good. But I was trying, and and so that's how that page turned out. And again, I skip pages so that I don't have to worry about bleed through. Um, a lot of people tape them together. A lot of people glue them together. I don't. I just turn the page. It 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 doesn't get in the way. It's not bulky. There's there's no reason to add the extra gluing and taping work to it. Just flip the page. <laughs> um, so this is the second and the third, and um, the background is ink tense, I believe. And I just drew a, a butterfly, and I had gotten some new. Dr. Martin uh, inks, the like a calligraphy type ink. They look like uh, this, the Bombay inks, and oh, those are fun to work with. They, they, I've been trying to practice with my fountain pen nibs and um, with my writing and stuff, and all of the the writing on here was done with those inks and they're so brilliant and bright and I believe you can watercolor with them too but I haven't tried that but the background here is ink uh, ink tents pencils probably or blocks um, and so I, I added in some journal cards and stuff like that every Monday pretty much I was adding um, a backer page to the day before Monday so my pages stayed even um, this one I got started and never got back to journaling on. I struggled with it this month. Um, I, I just struggled with it this month. I think it's the summer. I, I do better in the fall and the summer. I just want to hibernate and wait for it to be over. Um, so my creativity is not as good in the summer. Um, this was a Tangle Tuesday, Whimsical Wednesday. I had apparently a lot to say those two days. <laughs> But I've been trying to practice with my hand lettering. My handwriting in general is really, really awful. If I slow down and I have something to look at in reference, I can do pretty good. But in general, my everyday handwriting is, is horrible to read. <laughs> um, I, I again playing with the Dr. Martin inks with the fountain pens and just some lettering. This was, uh, we have a new, um, we have a new prompt in the month of July that is continuing on into August. It's the five on Friday or Friday, five, five on Friday um, that Allison is doing. And um, 
basically she gives us five items from our, our stash that we have to use on a page. And so um, it's been an absolute blast, an absolute blast. It's, it's a lot of fun to use up my stuff and have a reason to use it up. So that's what we had. There was probably five things we had to use and that's how that worked out. Um, this is, let's see, I don't think I have any hidden journal. I don't think I have any hidden journaling this month. But if you skip the pages, you can obviously do hidden journaling and, and that kind of stuff on the insides. Um, if you don't mind working on the back, most of the stuff that I have done has not bled through. And I could have easily done that, but it drives me insane. And I, I, can't, I can't work over the top of it. So I, I just like to skip the pages. But this page was done, um, Paper Artsy came out with some new stamps. I don't know when, a couple weeks ago, and I don't have the stamps, and but I, I liked the idea of the stamps, so I just kind of copied them onto paper and uh, cut paper out and paper piece this one, and the background's in distress inks, and the stems are all in ink tents. Um, I don't know what the background is on this. Like I said, if you want up close details on these, uh, just join the Facebook group because I have all the information on them. But these are the Lyra crayons, I believe. I'm pretty sure this is when I got the Lyra crayons. And I, I just, the background worked out really good. I used up a full sheet of rub ons on this. I'm almost completely out of rub ons. And I'm never buying them again. They're on my don't buy list. Um, and <laughs> I need to do an update on my use it up. I have gotten rid of so much stuff that I it's not really use it up anymore. Now it's just enjoy it <laughs> because I've just gotten rid of so much stuff. I finally just, instead of trying to use it, I just have been giving it away. Um, some more hand lettering practice and, and using the Posco paint pens. <gasps> I love those pens so, so much. They are the bee's knees. I, I just love those pens. Um, and then just some journaling cards. I think, yeah, this was our first. We also have a new prompt on Thursdays called list its and Linda's doing those and basically she posts a topic and then you make a list for it. So it's been really fun to do that too. And of course we always have Paula's prompts on journal prompt on Monday. Uh, Amy has been doing a fantastic job on Tangle Tuesday, Lynn's Whiz whimsical Wednesday. Um, and then the two new ones are Lynn's list it, uh, Linda's listed on Thursday and Allison's Friday five on Fridays so it's been a blast <laughs> but more I, again I back Mondays um, and just practicing with my hand lettering and journaling and then I started to fall off <laughs> I, I just this month has just not been a great month for me for journaling and it's just uh, you'll see at the end it's really bad at the end so I got a little, we're getting a privacy fence put up finally between us and our crap neighbors. And so um, I was fiddling around with that and then just practicing with some hand lettering. And um, this one, Susla had um, posted some inspiration. And so I was trying my hand at two color blending, but I, I used three and it's really hard, but I like how it turned out. Um, this, uh, the Altenew has layered stamps out and I, I don't buy stamps anymore really because I just, I don't use them. I have three drawers, thousands of stamps that I rarely use. So I don't buy stamps anymore, but I've been trying to kind of use them for inspiration. So this was their layered lily and I just did it with ink tents. I did each layer by hand. I just sketched it out and colored in each layer and that's how it turned out. It was really hard. <laughs> I won't do it again, but it was fun to try it. It was a good challenge. Um, I was inspired by a sign I saw on Pinterest to do this and I'm smiling because I tried it. Um, and then this is Perlex on the background here and I won't do that again because I forgot to add the gum Arabic and so it went everywhere of course because you know once Perlex dries it's not permanent. <laughs> So that made a big old mess. Um, but I just did some hand lettering to journal on this one. And, um, this is the Ly Lyra crayons again. And I really, really like those. Um, I have to say that I would probably, for this type of stuff, if I can only have one set of colors, I probably would do the Lyra crayons. Um, I love my ink tents. They are by far my favorite pencil on the planet. 
but the most versatile I have gotten has been the Lyra crayons, um, but I wouldn't give up my ink tents either. <laughs> so they're a great blend with the ink tents. Um, the background was done with the Lyra crayons. I heat embossed um, the stamping on here, and then the water coloring was done with the ink tents, hence why I can't get rid of the ink tents, even if I, there's no way. I love my ink tents. Um, they're just like a, you need, you kind of need a middle, and that's where like a watercolor pencil or the crayons come in. Um, all of the hand lettering was done with the Posco paint pens. Love those. Those are my, th this page probably represents my favorite things. The Lyra crayons, the ink tents pencils, and the Posco paint pens. <laughs> I love them. Um, and then this is kind of where it all goes left. Um, I'm going through all my stuff to get rid of stuff that I said in January. If I don't use it in the next six months, it's got to go. And my any, any of the sprays and stains that I had that weren't working or clogged or I got rid of a ton of glimmer mist. I know everybody's going to die, but that stuff's crap. I'm sorry, but I have never wasted so much money than I have wasted on glimmer mist. Why... Lindy Scamp Gang can come up with a perfect sprayer that doesn't clog, and Tattered Angels cannot. I have no idea. But my my sprays have set my I have glitter mist and um, Lindy's. My Lindy's and my glitter mist have sat probably for three years without being used. I shook up the Lindy's, they sprayed beautifully. Shook up all the glimmer mist, one out of like 15 bottles sprayed. I checked them. <laughs> I know everybody's like, ah! But I, I won't use them. I, they've sat for three years, three or, oh gosh, I've had them since Tattered Angels came out with them. And I've never used them, not going to use them. They needed to go. And But it just, it's so disappointing that they don't come out with better products. <laughs> Packaging, you know, because, but, so, anyways, most of this is Lindy Stamp Gang, a couple of uh, gelato sprays. That's about all I think gelatos are good for. Um, yes, I'm opinionated. <laughs> Sue me. <laughs> um, but I, I just, this is just, I was testing out stuff and I had extra pages, so I just did it. And yeah, that was my 14 cents on that, so going on. Um, and then this is today's, that's all I have energy for today. And this, I was practicing actually yesterday on Friday's page because I bought a new um, clear gesso. From TriArts, this stuff is the bee's knees, bomb, diggity, dog, yummy stuff. It's not cheap. Um, I'll put a link in the bottom, though, but it is so smooth. It, you know, if you've ever used clear gesso like Liquitex or Golden and you put it on there, it's like sandpaper. It's so rough. You can't write over it. It's just terrible. Um, the one that's like this, it, it's, it's terrible. And, um, it's, well, for journaling, I, you know, for art, I'm sure it's fine, but I don't art. So, um, I was reading about the Prima one, Prima Art Basics one, and this came up as an alternative to it on Amazon, so I ordered it. This one was also cheaper. And it is smooth as a baby's butt, as Susila said. Um, it, it's just beautiful. You, you, it goes on very similar to what matte gel medium would be. Um, in fact, I did a tester page to show that matte gel medium and this, the clear gesso, it, they work virtually the same, no bleeding or anything like that. Um, the only thing I found was is that this goes on so smooth, like water just washing across the page. And this is really thick uh, if you've ever used gel medium. So, But if you can't get a clear gesso or it's hard for you to get a clear gesso, this works exactly the same and they have the exact same texture. They're very smooth. I rarely use watercolor markers of any kind in my Fobonichi because they bleed like a son of a gun and I don't like to mess with them and they don't move well. Um, but this was done with Distress Inks uh, markers, and they just, it they were beautiful. It worked beautiful. Ignore my, my quick drawing there. I was just testing them out for everybody. But, um, yeah, that's going to be the end of the month, because <laughs> that's all I'm going to do. I got a busy day today. I probably will color this in, maybe. I don't know. And then tomorrow I have going to be gone most of the day, and so I this this works. And then I actually ended up with a couple extra pages because I ended up skipping days during the month. But this holds three months for me, so I don't care. But anyways, that's, that is my July flip 
for um, my Moleskine Classic Dotted. And I'm starting a new book in August. Um, I have a two month span and then I go back to the three month span. So I bought a Moleskine Chapters uh, book and this has the same paper in it but it's only a hold two months for me it has a different spine it's kind of like this generic wise if you will if they took all the bells and whistles off of it and put it here um, it doesn't have a cover you can see the spine um, this one is broken into chapters so you do have these inner pages um, which I skip pages and how it worked out for me is these get skipped anyway so it worked out great and um, it, I, my end of the month will end up perfectly and then there are some note pages in the back but I, I won't be probably using those so um, this is what I'm going to use next month uh, for August and September and then I already have on order another one of these for October, November and December and I will probably stay with the Moleskine Classic Dotted forever <laughs> um, I, I just I really enjoy this journal. It, it holds up really, really nice. No matter how much you stuff in it, it takes a beating and keeps coming back. The paper is really nice to work with. It's thin, but not too thin. I love the dotted pattern because it gives you some guidelines without being a bold in your face grid box when it's not lines and I don't like the lines. Um, so I really just, I haven't seen another journal come out that said, oh, you should try that one. It, it just, these have worked out really good for me, so this is probably going to be my Fobonichi for life. Um, woo, big truck. Um, but yeah, I have this two month span, so I thought I would just try one of these um, and see as a filler <laughs> book. My plan for at least the next month is to use up, I got a lot of alphas and um, uh, stickers and just what do I got here I want to use up the the alphas and the stickers I have some stuff in here that I'd like to get through anything I don't get through in the next two months in here is going to be given away because I'm just not keeping this stuff anymore I won't go through it I have sticker sheets that if I don't use them up they're probably going to go um, I want to use up I had planned to use up some of this chipboard and that kind of stuff I have all of these things but I think I'm probably going to give that stuff away because it just doesn't work in my Fobonichi and I don't have another use for it. And I've had most of it for like eight years so it's not happening. Um, but yeah, I have more stickers and die cuts and stuff like that that I want to try to get used up and that kind of thing. I've kind of gotten into what works for me. I like to do a lot of the art. I enjoy adding stickers and die cuts and stuff like that and I'm just pretty okay with what I am doing right now so I don't know where the future is gonna go but for now this is working for me and I hope you will if you enjoy this kind of journaling or you'd like to try it or you just want to learn more please come join us over at the Fobonichi journalers group on Facebook the link is down below we, we just 1100 member giveaway um, and we have already surpassed that we're well on our way to 1300 members it's crazy how fast we're growing and how much participation there is and it's it's crazy nuts it's fun and and it i'm just very grateful and thankful for it come see what they're doing there's so many different styles if you if my style is not what you want to do come try it i mean there's no style there's no rules you'll see um, but that link will be down below. You guys have a great day and I will see you back with a flip through for my Fobonichi at the end of August. Talk to you later. Bye.